February is Heart Awareness Month, and this morning we're finding out how you can check your own heart health. KBU Daybreak, Daybreak reporter Jessica Vest is live at the Heart Hospital of Austin. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Melissa. I'm all prepared with my medical equipment out here this morning. You know, heart disease continues to be the number one killer in the nation, and this month we are making more, a larger awareness of heart disease. It is February, and that's what this month is intended for. This morning, we're actually taking a look at some of the techniques used to help repair and prevent heart damage. Joining us this morning is Dr. Paul Coffeen with the Heart Hospital of Austin. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for waking up with us. Oh, thank you. We have one of the techniques right here. Talk to us about this. This is a simulator in which we practice placing leads in different parts of the heart. When I mean leads, I mean leads that are part of pacemaker systems. And this is to simulate the body. This is a, a tube called a catheter which allows the introduction of the pacing lead. And we put the pacing leads into the heart to be able to activate it in certain ways. This uh, is a simulator that actually simulates an x-ray where we can manipulate the lead just as we would in the heart rhythm laboratory under uh, fluoroscopy, although there's no radiation with this particular uh, simulator. This shows the heart and gives a similar picture on a computer screen that would simulate what we were doing in the heart rhythm laboratory. And, and what, in what instances does this become a most useful tool then? Um, for this particular technique, we use it um, to help patients with heart failure in order to better coordinate their heart muscle function. And, and talk to us about why February is such, a, such an important month for people with heart disease, this, what you all see here at the Heart Hospital. Well, I think it's very important to be, for patients to be engaged in uh, their treatment. Heart disease is very prevalent in the United States, and it's very important for them to understand what we can do as physicians and be part of their, their care so that uh, we can help them get the best result possible. And the technology like this, I, it seems, I mean, it's such a small, intricate piece. How, how has technology like this been able to improve the ability for treating heart disease? Well, our industry partners have uh, really made a lot of strides for us in terms of the equipment that we can use to help patients live better lives. Devices like this can help patients live better and longer, and clearly that's, uh, that's the goal for us. All right, I appreciate your time, Dr. Paul Coffey. Thank you Thank very you. much. We will be back here all morning long with different techniques and tools used to help treat heart disease. So stay with us. We are live in the Central Austin. Jessica Vest, KV News Daybreak. Melissa. Jessica, thank you so much.